Hello, everybody. It's me again, um, live and uh, going to paint again today. Um, and for those that are new and first time watching us, my name is Joan and I'm painting on behalf of the Lakeside Church, um, Toronto, the Lakeside Church, Toronto, mm -hmm. that is. And for today, um, I'm painting waves. Okay. So to be honest, I have a little story to tell. Um, it's Easter here in Toronto. It's Easter and there's so many paintings that can be painted. But And it's my turn to paint this Saturday. And I have no idea what to paint. I am so stumped. There are hundreds of uh, paintings out there and thing is just coming to me so in my desperation friday uh i still don't know what to paint so i had to pray pray i pray pray lord what can i paint this weekend and that'll also be a blessing to you so this morning i woke up with an image in my head and you know the lord must have said well the image is right there and you've been looking at it for a few years now. And you know what it is? It's the logo of the TLC, the Lakeside Church Toronto. So I'm gonna go paint the TLC logo with the cross and the wave, the curling wave. I thought it's an amazing painting. So I hope I do it justice. And uh, shout out to Pastor Sabrina and Pastor Brian. I'm gonna paint the logo that you chose for Lakeside Church Toronto. Okay, so um, so before we uh, move along, I have a little devotional to read. So this is not my own. I, I think uh, the Lord uh, brought this message to me today. And um, it is called Waves of Mercy. It's written by Byron Bonert of uh, CBN, a Christian Broadcasting Network. Waves of Mercy. So he wrote here, picture for a moment the scene of ocean waves continually rolling onto a long sandy beach. The Lord recently revealed to me that His mercy is exactly like those waves, constant and never ceasing. Lamentations 3.22 says the faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is, is His faithfulness. His mercy begin afresh each morning. Without the mercy of God, we'd be finished. For God, in his anger, can be as fierce as hurricane, and then in his mercy, become like a peaceful ocean wave. Isn't that a beautiful picture? God loves us so much and is saddened when we intentionally do things contrary to his will. The pain isn't surface level with God, but cuts deep within. Do you remember how crushed you felt the last time a loved one hurt you? If you are like me, you are highly disappointed at their neglect for your feelings. Hmm. We've all been there before. Then, while you might have been angry with the person who wronged you, you were also willing to forgive them because of their heartfelt Apology. Now, by placing God in the same scenario, perhaps we can gain a better understanding of the Father's heart. Yes, God desires to demonstrate His mercy in our lives. His mercy gives us another chance even after we've blown it, totally blown it. The awesome thing about God is is to know when what he says in 1 John 1 9. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just, faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. I personally enjoy being on the coast and relaxing to the sound of waves crashing upon the seashore. I love doing that. Whenever I return from spending time there, 
I am always refreshed and renewed. Me too. The ocean can be a treacherous place. Yes. But it also shares similar characteristic with the creator. Now, this, this is cool. I never thought of it, um, uh, the ocean this way. Okay, so Byron wrote, The ocean can be a treacherous place, but it also shares similar characteristics with its creator. Everything on earth carries evidence of God's character and handiwork. We have to remember that. However, to me, the ocean is one of the greatest representative in all of creation. As with God, the ocean is a source of life, strength, and tranquility. Ocean waves, in particular, are truly amazing. I agree. Every time a wave washes up on the beach, it carries away a portion of sand from one place to another. As a result, the waves, the sand, and beach will always change. God deals with our sin the same way the ocean deals with the, with the sand. Let me read that again. God deals with our sin in the same way the ocean deals with sand. He washes over us with his waves of mercy and take away our sin. Okay, so he washes over us with his waves of mercy. He doesn't get tired and takes away our sin. Audio Adrenaline um, illustrates this clearly in a segment of their song, Ocean Floor. The lyrics speak of the songwriter's sin how they haunt him, and how they are ugly. Then it makes the analogy of these sin being washed away by large waves of the ocean. God's forgiveness. And they are gone as the ocean is when wiped away by the churning surf. You know, when you walk in uh, at the beach, you notice as, as the wave comes in, you know, you're your um, footprints get washed away by the water. I never thought, okay, this is good. I thought, oh, it's just a natural thing. I never think about that. But reading his writing here really gave that motion of the ocean a different meaning to me. So every day, so he reads, he writes, every day God wants us to truly experience his mercy and do what First Chronicles 1634 tells us, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Again, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Beautiful writing. Thank you so much, Byron. Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for the opportunity to be witness, witnesses to your beauty, your creation, how amazing you are, and for how forgive, how much you forgive us every day. We sin every day, and you forgive us every day. You renew us every morning. We want to thank you for washing, washing away our sins and for keeping us in your fold. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Okay, so Easter time. Like I said earlier, there's many, many paintings out there that are great to do, but nothing seemed to jump at me and say, hey, paint me. Um, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, um, co-teacher uh, Nicole taught us how to paint a cross with hearts. So this is my version. There you go. With the Holy Spirit. Uh, and his glory shining on the cross. So in keeping with the cross and with Nicole's theme, I'm going to apply that to today's tip. So we have this stencil of a cross that's seen a lot of paintings. <laughs> it's starting to uh, 
to bend and fall apart. So I'm going to use this again uh, for this painting. So we're going to do a big wave coming from one end to the other. It'll curl up above here. And this cross I traced on this side of the canvas. Okay. So, you know me and straight lines, we are never best friends. So, I have to use a stencil and or a ruler, okay? So, use a ruler if you want. That's perfectly fine. And we are only going to use a few colors. Okay, so I have blue. It's called ultramarine blue. And... Turquoise blue, whatever blue you have. Different shades of blue is fine. White, just a touch of yellow. Now, be mindful. Yellow and blue gives you green. So don't um, mix too much uh, of it together, okay? And for the cross, we'll be using a little bit of brown with white. And, of course, just a touch of uh, black just to darken some areas and to create shadow. Actually, this is not... Uh, just black. We are going to use Payne's Gray, which is technically blue, black, and and a little bit of white. So it creates gray, blue gray. So that's that. Okay. Right there. So, so just that we're, we're going to be using. I have a few of them. You don't really have to have them all. Yes. Yes, Naomi. I am actually creating the Lakeside Church uh, symbol. <laughs> so we're finally going to paint it. So we need a white brush like this. Go wider with a bare canvas. Um, a round brush like this, just so it's easy to paint the curl. The stiff brush or toothbrush. Okay, just to create your splatter. A thin brush. Make your lines. And uh, this is a flat brush. And of course, don't forget to have your paper towel damp so you can wipe your brush. My water. The paint and my tea. <laughs> All right. So here we go. I do encourage everyone uh, at the Lakeside Church to paint this. Um, you can create your own version. You don't have to use the ocean colors. Remember, um, you can do any, you can express your own creativity. You can use any color that you want. Uh, that doesn't have to be color of the ocean to, to, to depict ocean, right? Okay, any color will do that you're happy with. All right, so we're going to start with the sky. Okay, so I've traced my cross just so I have a little guide as to where my cross is going to be and um, uh, gave a little tracing of the ocean where it's going to be. So the ocean is pretty much the main... Uh, thing in the picture, okay? Not the ocean, the wave. The wave. So we're just going to do a background, very, very light. So I wet my brush. I'm going to take a little bit of blue. And I always try and give a tip whenever I paint. So I always said, never leave your brush in the water so that the wooden handle will not absorb the water and you know eventually it'll ruin your uh, brush and when you take water in your brush don't put too much or otherwise your paint will run and you don't want that So we're using a 16 by 20 canvas. 
any size of canvas will do. And we will just block off the sky. Put that up a tiny, tiny bit and get to that. Lock it. I like to cut to color or paint the edge of my canvas just to give it a finished look. You don't have to. I just find it nice. Okay. So here in Toronto, some of our restrictions, COVID restrictions are um, being lifted. Oh, canvas is about half of your camera. Oops, sorry. <laughs> On Facebook, it's not showing very much. Let me move my camera. There you go. Okay, so we're okay. Right. Thank you very much, Nicole. Yes, if you have anything, any message, just put it on Facebook. Any question, uh, I'll be able to see it on Facebook and on um, YouTube. However, if it's on WhatsApp, maybe Nicole will be mon uh, monitoring that and she will pass on the message. All right, don't hesitate to ask. And when I can, I will answer. <laughs> Okay, so we got blue. Now we're going to try and give a variation of, I'm not really going to create clouds, just variation of blue and sky. Light, dark. There we go. My brush is getting dry. So just touch the water a teeny tiny bit. No clouds today. No clouds today, folks. Just some different variation of blue in our sky. Can you see the canvas better? Thank you. <laughs> Okay. So my cross is right over here. So how are you spending your Easter? I hope it's spending, spending them with your family, having fun. So as I was mentioning, Earlier, restrictions are starting to get lifted here in Toronto. So it's it's good that we can spend time with our family members now. But remember to be careful. And uh, I'd say we should still wear a mask <laughs> and be, be mindful of what uh, still is a health threat to us. So just different variations of blue, light blue, darker blue. But I'm just using two colors, the ultramarine blue and the white. go. I have no music today. That's why I'm noisy. <laughs> so Nicole, she is asking, are you using primary blue or another shade of blue? Um, with acrylic, it's actually not called a primary blue, but yes, definitely could, you could use primary blue, but it's called ultramarine blue. 
and then just white. And then this thing in the middle here, it's called turquoise blue, which is perfect for, for um, the ocean. But you could also use it for the sky, why not, all right? So two colors, white. So I'm just painting all around my cross here. And just, there you go. Okay, when you're happy with your sky, just give it a nice one over. So that'll be blocking off our sky. So I'm gonna rinse my brush. You don't have to actually, because what the next color will be, it's still blue, okay? So we're gonna go with our wave. So we're gonna go up and out and like that. There you go. So for those that are not familiar, the logo of the Lakeside Church is a cross with a wave okay all right so that's what we are going to paint so it's pretty much let me give sort of a intro like that and then it'll curl up up I something like that. Okay. All right, here we go. So this time we're going to start using blue, ultramarine blue, the ocean blue or turquoise blue and some white. Now, this part here, you don't really need to blend, okay? Now, I suggest you keep this area clean, this round area here. That'll define our wave, okay? And we just go out. All right. Just long sweeping motion. No blending. And again, I suggest you paint the edge of your canvas. So we'll do it again. This area here at the corner, ooh, I guess um, Facebook could not see that area. Here you go. Okay, YouTube can see everything. Facebook, now you can see this area too. All right, so this area we will make a bit darker, okay? So I will just touch black and mix it with the color that we have going already. 
to cover that. And then we're going to go to the other side, which is over here. And we will make this area dark as well. Okay, so we're going to touch that black again. Just a little bit, okay, just a touch. Mix in with the blue. And we're gonna go. Okay, so the corners are darker than the rest. Okay, so this corner and this corner. All right. How are we doing? Hello to our friends and uh, in the Philippines and Dominican Republic, the US and Canada. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so now same brush. I don't know if you notice I haven't rinsed my brush, but I know there's no need to actually. I just keep on loading it with paint, a little bit of water. When I feel like it's starting to get too dry. Now we're gonna have a little bit of that ultramarine green and blue. And we're gonna come across. Are we seeing our wave now? <laughs> okay. So now we're going to get just pure white. Okay. And we're going to go. On our waves. Just like that. Okay, just a big dab of white and just curl it. No special way of putting it, just make swipes. Okay, and we need more over here. Just be very loose. The ocean is very loose after all. <laughs> okay, be very loose. Just let your arm go. Release your arm. And let that water. So I'm just dabbing my brush in and just in the paint and just go like that. And you see this little globs of paint don't touch it just leave it as is gives your painting some character okay okay i'll bring that portion a little bit higher This is just light, like almost my brush is almost dry now. So I'm just bringing that up a little bit. There's barely any paint in this brush right now. So that, that's what I'm using to uh, bring the colors up. Okay. But your wave is, is right here. Okay. Right there. 
So dab it with your brush again and all right. Now take a look at your painting and see where where else could some foam happen. Okay. There you go. Okay, now I think we're ready to do the foam for our wave. We can leave our wave now. And uh, maybe I'll use the same brush too. This time I'm just dabbing white the very, very little blue this time, okay? Earlier we're using a lot of blue. This time it, we're doing it reverse. We're using more white. Very, very little blue. And we're going to dab right here. Dab, dab, dab. Well, we know the foam is right in the surface of the wave, right? So we're going to go all the way up here. Maybe it's better to use a round brush if you have it handy. So now this is how I will rinse off my brush. Because now I'll be using a whole a little bit more white. All right. So damp brush only, not too wet. Okay. This area here is just plain white. I'm going to switch. To a different so I don't have too much blue. And what I'm going to put in the middle? A touch of yellow. A little bit more. So like I mentioned earlier, yellow and blue makes green. So if you don't want to make green, avoid make, mixing them together. Okay. All right. I've always wanted to paint waves. I'm drawn to water. I like I like water. And just like what our devotional said, you love the ocean. I love the ocean. I'm just crazy about it. Okay, I'm going back to my brush. And put in some more foam. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, I'm not, I'm not swiping. Dab, dab, dab. Keep the inside of your curl clean. There's the foam right above. We'll put a little bit here too. Eh, why not? Put it up a little higher. What you do, you just kind of twist them to give your wave some character. Okay. Now, 
Remember the stiff brush that I told you about earlier? You get it wet a little bit. Or you can use toothbrush. Toothbrush will be perfect for this too. Okay. All right. So dab it on just pure titanium white. And we are ready to flick. Better not drop this. You know me, I'm famous for paint, for dropping my paint. <laughs> my paint brush, I should say. Okay, more paint. bit more water to thin it flick 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 and everybody knows I drop my brush almost every session that I paint this is my floor I clean it. <laughs> so hold your brush well. Okay. Toothbrush, an old toothbrush will do this trick very, very well. Just don't have one though. I'm quick to throw them away. So, okay. So I'm doing the, um, this Splatter all over the top and over here. There you go. Rinse that. I'm very good at making a mess. All right. And I'll use some. Okay, don't make it all okay. Keep your little dark blues um, still peeping so that you'll have contrast. Now, if you end up covering the whole thing white, you can always pick up the blue, the dark blue, and um, put it back on, okay. All right. There we go. So a typical example, see here, there's no more blue. So I'm gonna pick up some of the um, turquoise blue and put it back in. So there's contrast. I can still see your wave. Just gives it more character. You see it? So now it's not all white. I love this fan brush. It's one of my best brush. Okay. So now I think our wave is finished. I'm just going to give it a little bit of contrast there. Where the wave is falling in. And you know that little brush that I told you we were going to use earlier? The liner brush? I'm just going to use it to get some water. Just some water lines.
just little lines, you know, just to give it a little bit of character. If you look closely at uh, any wave, you'll see little lines. In there. Yeah. Okay, just step back and you know, take a look at it and see how it is. Here you are. There's your wave. And I think I'm ready for my cross. I'm going to rinse my brushes here. Take it out of the water. I better practice what I teach. <laughs> Nicole says, the class notice right away is resemblance of the TLC logo. Yes, it is the TLC logo. <laughs> Okay, so remember our blue, uh, brown, brown and white. We just mix that, and maybe I'll add a touch of dark, just to add too much white. Okay, so we're gonna do the cross. I am dedicating this painting to the Lakeside Church, Toronto. And I hope when you make your painting, you dedicate it to TLC as well. And most importantly, you're painting it for the Lord. Okay, I'm just blocking this off. Okay, I think I'm gonna use a flat brush. My daughter made me a nice tea, so I'm going to drink it. I believe flat brush will help me make straighter lines. Okay. Maybe. Maybe not. See how my hand is shaking? Okay. I already have a bed and I still don't make a straight line. Maybe one of these days I'll ask the Lord to help me make straight lines. Then he's going to say, John, that's what rulers are for. Right? <laughs> I can hear John sneaking in the side here. Hi. <laughs> 
Sorry to interrupt. I just mm -hmm. want to check on you. Yeah. Look at the ocean wave, John. Wow, this looks beautiful. It's, do you recognize it? Yeah. What is it? Oh, it's the cross. <laughs> no, I mean the wave. The wave and the ocean. Yeah. What do you what do you beautiful. see? Beautiful, honey. Well, I'm giving you a test. Mm -hmm. What do you uh don't you find this familiar? Yeah. What is it? I can't remember. What's it from? I can't remember. Ah. It's the TLC logo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bad me. Oops. Yeah. Oops. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Put him on the spot. Okay. Now we have a floating cross. Okay, let's give our cross a character. Some character. Shadows. So, we're going to pretend that our light is coming from this side. So we'll have lighter shades on this side of the cross darker on the side of the cross okay so i'm gonna go with dark first right okay tlc artists i am looking forward to your work for the Lake, Lakeside Church, Toronto. Take pictures of your work. Share it with us. We'll be very, very happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna touch a little, get a little bit of white. Mix it with the paint that I have on my brush and just touch it. Go like that. And just pull it to the center. I'm not going all the way to the center. Okay. Look, too much water. See, I just did that. Too much water on my brush. So I just wipe it. And too much white paint. Okay, now we're done this, we're going to go to the uh, arm. I'm going to come across a little bit. If you think you still need to touch your wave a little bit, by all means, um, go for it. I think I might end up uh, touching it with a little bit brighter white, um, but it starts to dry a little bit later on. And I have a lot of paint uh, to touch it. So that this, is, this painting is pretty much done. So 
hope you enjoyed this session. And I would like to see you next time for our next session of um, the Lakeside Church Toronto. Please check out our website and uh, check out the, the different uh, ministries that's available there for you. And um, and hope uh, you could join us in one of our, um, those that are here in Toronto, that is, uh, uh, one of our services. We are doing online and in-person services now um and yes enjoy painting until next time thank you and have yourself a lovely easter and don't forget to be thankful thankful for what the lord has done for us god bless <music>